hey guys welcome back to my channel today we are doing a little bit of a different video something that i've been wanting to record for a while um i'm going to show you guys how i apply my press-ons to make sure that they last between two to three weeks i have a lot of people telling me that whenever they use press-ons like they just really hate them because they don't last them at all so i'm going to show you guys how i prep mine and how i get them to last so let's get started these are the nails that we are going in with today these are from glamnetic um they're in the style pretty picnic and if you know me you know i'm such a pink girl for life so i just thought this was super cute little design and then of course um i just thought the size was really cute too it's the round short round first what i like to do is push my cuticles back my nails are looking pretty rough right now just because i recently had acrylics on and they just haven't grown the same we're gonna first go in and push back the cuticle i usually just take my time with this obviously going one by one no rush whatsoever and it's gonna look good well, if you have this to kind of cut you can use it i personally don't use it as much just because i'm very scared of cutting myself um so yeah you kind of have to be careful with it i've gotten cut in the past so i feel like i'm just i'm just gonna cut off these like little side pieces i don't even know what that's called but now that my cuticles are back i like to go in with my file i've been hearing that um glass files are really good to be using these days so need to get one of those but i'm just gonna file them down a little bit extra i did already cut them so i'm just kind of shaping them a little bit more filing them down to be a little bit shorter so i need to get a new one of these but <laughs> i got this kit back in covid times 2020 when i was doing my nails at home i got a uh, one of these into my little nail stuff so what i do is i go in and do each step so step one evens step two smooth step three buff and then step four shines so i literally go in order for every single nail sorry you can hear my bracelet hitting the counter there but yeah, so I just go in and do each step for the nail. Using this little block has honestly made my nails so much cleaner and just flatter, more of a smooth surface so that the press-on nails last a lot longer. I've noticed that when I don't use any of this, they fall off really, really quickly. Now, I am also right-handed, so sometimes my right-handed nails come out a little bit weird, um process is very quick though you guys um it really doesn't take more than like 20 minutes for me to get any of this done i feel like press on nails are also such lifesavers because acrylic nails are so expensive these days so now that they are all done basically pretty prepped i'm gonna go wash my hands now the nails are out so i love that you know they come with a tiny little glue the little cuticle thing and then an alcohol pad which i'm about to use in a second um but i'm not going to use this glue i'm actually going to use glamnetics brush on glue i've had this for a while as you can tell it actually has eyelash glue on it sorry about that but yeah this brush on glue that they have i really really love because i feel like it's a lot easier to apply evenly so i've already sized them to my own nail they're not perfectly there so sorry but um what i'm gonna do is i grab the alcohol pad that was provided in the package and then we've already gone through and you know done everything that we need to for the nail to be prepped so now you just want to go on top and kind of just wipe it a little bit make sure that it strips your nails of all oils and of course just don't go and touch your nail again okay, i just applied these off camera so i'm gonna just let them dry before i do any kind of filing let me go in with this hand this hand is always so much easier for me to do because i am right-handed of course so yeah basically just brush on some of that glue and then what we're gonna do is you want to make sure that you place it at the bottom 
and then kind of press out. You see how the glue kind of moved? And then leave it pressed a couple of seconds. And I'm telling you guys, like, this is my favorite press on glue. It's so good. Just leave that there. You're basically just going to repeat the exact same steps with every single nail. Of course, you do want to be very careful with the glue because, like I said, you got to press from the down and then that way it goes up. I feel like if you use too much glue, it just slides off the bottom and press. I also do recommend that you're just careful with your placement because sometimes if you place it wrongly, like you'll have one of them like facing a specific said, way. Rush, so so yeah, go. just be careful with that. Oh, so now what we're going to do is kind of go in and file them out a little bit. Um, they usually have that little thing at the top. So I try to just, ooh, I try to round it out so that you don't notice it anymore. I don't know, like you'll be able to see right here. There's like a little tiny dot thing. So... I don't know what that's for. I don't know if that's like to be able to tell the top part, but yeah, I just go in, file them out a little bit. Almost done here. All right, guys, so this is the finished result. Um, Sorry, I know the lighting in here isn't great. I really should have brought my ring light in here but like i said i'm in a rush so didn't do great application but the process of what i showed you is exactly what i do every single time and like i said they will last me two to three weeks um i really like these glamnetic nails i use them all the time i actually recently just bought some really pretty slytherin ones let me show you they're literally right next to me so I just got these and these are going to be in use for October. But yeah, overall, these nails are my absolute favorite. Super cute. And I always get so many compliments whenever I wear Glamnetic. So yeah, thank you guys for watching today's video and I will see you guys on the next one.